Deep Crab Pattern, Introduction to Harmonic Patterns. Crab Pattern Review. In an uh, earlier introduction to the basic crab pattern, we talked about the M and W formation that utilizes a 1.618 extension. Now the deep crab pattern is a variation of this structure. Similar measurements, but slightly different combinations, and we treat the pattern slightly differently than the regular crab pattern. Now the basic crab arose from the M and W differentiation to look at extension price structures, measure them, and create rules to devise different structures. This was basically to differentiate the crab versus the butterfly. Now we looked at the XA, the BC, and those AB equals CD considerations. But now we've got the crab versus the deep crab, which is a variation of this 1.618 extension type pattern. But we look at different complementary harmonic measures. We still expect that all crab patterns will have volatile price action. We want to focus on that 1.618 measurement. That's the key in both variations, but we expect that price action to be pretty volatile and look for that to reverse pretty sharply after hitting that level. Now, the origin of the deep crab was something that I had been talking about since as early as 2001 on my website, introducing this as a new variation of the basic crab structure, and then fully introduced it in my Harmonic Trading Volume 1, defining all the rules, and we'll look at that. It's a, uh, it's a still a five-point structure, an M or W formation, and utilizes that 1.618, but we look at a different midpoint at the B, and this sets up slightly different measurements at the completion point. Now, over the years, the, the structure has been refined with some advancements in the execution of the pattern, how we handle it. These have made it more, a more even a more effective strategy. Uh, but the crab pattern itself is po probably one of the most powerful harmonic structures that there are. Now, this is a bullish deep crab illustration. Again, we notice that this M formation, where the B point is at an 886, that's a mandatory, must hit that 886, cannot exceed the X point. So somewhere between 886 and 0.99 for the most part. That sets up our C point, which cannot exceed A. Those are the basic M and W rules. And then it sets up a D point, looking at that 1.618 with the other measurements. Now, this deep crab evolved from invalid bat patterns, and we can look at the failure of a particular pattern at the 886 because that sets up the eventual completion of a 1.618 extension. Now, this B point at the 886 retracement it really is the distinguishing point versus the regular version. We still look at a structure that's extended typically using the 1.27 AB equals CD alternate pattern. Uh, but the BC projection can be less extreme. So we'll look at the uh, a couple of examples here, but uh, we really want to look for those measurements that best complement the 1.618 structure. Depending on how the deep crab lines itself up, it can have a BC as low as a 2.0 or as much as a 3.618. Here is a really nice daily chart, Aussie Yen, bullish crab pattern, deep crab pattern. And look at the M formation with our B point almost at a perfect 886, the C point at a 382. And then that sets up this extended leg down. Again, look at where the 1.618 is down here around 81.42. Pattern completes right down here under 81.25 level. Now, that's a really nice M formation, and what gives it away is the B point at the 886. The bullish deep crab potential reversal zone is going to look like uh, this layout of numbers where the AB equals CD is a minimum requirement, but again, typically extended, alternate. 
we'll look at the BC extension, and then also focusing on what happens at the 1.618 measurement. We utilize a general 2.0 stop loss, but we might be a little bit more loose in this interpretation, depending on how volatile the price action is into the zone. Take a look at this chart here of OCN on a daily as it comes in and hits the numbers. Some extreme action, but settles out after a few days. Immediately after hitting that 1.618, that's where you start to see some stabilization. It extends past the zone a little bit, but we do expect that with crab patterns. Now, the deep bearish crab, this is a W structure, must preserve the W formation of an X point, an A point, a B point that does not exceed X. For the deep crab, it's got to be at an 886. And then your C point cannot exceed A. And all that sets up for a big 1618 extension up to D. Notice also the BC measurements can be a 2.0 or as much as a 3618, but it's still going to be an extreme structure. Here's Pound Aussie on a 60 minute, another really nice bearish deep crab pattern here. Look at the 886 right at the B point, just past there, almost 90% of this XA leg. That sets up the W structure. The C point, the CD leg becomes extended, but also look, there's a 224 BC extension. That best fits right up here with the 1.618. So that entire structure pointing right to about 184.40 or just above. And we again, the, the crab pattern will have price action that will exceed that 1618 nominally. Up here is the 2.0, didn't come anywhere close to there, but still we expect that price action to exceed the 1618, but we're in the ballpark once we hit that level. The potential reversal zone in the bearish deep crab has that 1.618 measurement as the top end of the, the area. Again, stop loss goes above 2.0. And then we look at the other AB equals CD and the BC measurement that best fits all within that 1618 area. Here's that price action in the potential reversal zone of the 60 minute chart. Right here is where we hit it the first time and start stalling out. And look, the this line right here is the 1618 measurement. That's the top end. So your main zone is right in here between 184.30 and 184.45. It tops out as high as 184.75, but again, we're looking at or just above that 1618 level for the reversal. So it's important to recognize that the deep crab is still extreme, much like the regular version, but differentiated by that B point with an 886 as the XA retracement. The 1.618, it can still overshoot in these situations, but the deep crab actually sets up a lot of times with even tighter numbers, a, a more refined potential reversal zone than the regular crab. We can utilize those 2.0 or 224, smaller, less extreme BC projections. But again, whatever complements that 1.618, the deep crabs can have an AB equals CD, uh, just a normal equivalent structure, but we still most frequently will see the 1.27 in those situations. As long as that initial test at that 1618 doesn't exceed the 2.0, that's the critical part. That's going to define the entire execution of the opportunity. What happens between the 1618 and the 2.0? Still an extreme pattern, so expect volatile price action, but a fantastic setup, especially if you know how to trade the type one uh, setup with that type one management. More on that in other videos. And if you want more information, check us out at harmonictrader.com. Sign up for the basic membership as well. That's free. There's a lot more videos on what harmonic patterns are all about.